How does a neurosurgeon drill through your skull during brain surgery without damaging your brain? The answer is this single-use cranial perforator drill bit, and it has a special mechanism inside that will automatically stop before it reaches brain tissue. If someone says drill bit to you, this is probably one of the first things you think of, something that you might find in your garage. This couldn't be used during surgery, however, because the surgeon could end up drilling too far, breaking through your skull bone, and going right into the brain. Let's see how this issue is solved. Notice the cranial perforator has two moving pieces, an inner and an outer portion. The outer portion moves freely while the inner portion is locked behind a spring-loaded mechanism. The drill bit only engages with downward pressure on the skull and then is released when that pressure is no longer there. Did you notice how it moved down? It's a subtle movement, so let's watch it one more time. As soon as the inner portion depresses like that, it automatically stops. Let's watch the same mechanism again in real time on my genuine piece of skull bone here. Watch how that top portion is spinning freely because I don't have enough pressure applied, and then as soon as I apply enough pressure, the drill bit engages and I can drill. So even though this is on a piece of wood, the drill bit still stops right as it breaks through. And there you have it. That is how the surgeon avoids drilling right into your brain during brain surgery.